if you're familiar with Beatmania 2DX, you probably know it as the rhythm game series for masochists. But the original Beatmania is not really talked about anymore, probably because it's barely even a thing now due to the fact that all the cabs belong in private collection, but anyway! Beat, beat Mania on the on the PS1. Yeah, weirdly enough, Europe got an exclusive Beat Mania game for the PS1. Uh, for some context, imported Beat Mania cabs were a thing in the UK, and DJ and culture was also a big thing at the time. So a PlayStation release of Beat Mania probably did make sense. I think I wasn't actually there. One interesting thing about this game is that, unless I'm mistaken, this was the first CSB Mania release in Europe, since Dancing Stage Euromix CS wouldn't come out until a year after this game did. I'm making this video assuming that you're already familiar with how Beatmania works, so I won't waste the majority of my runtime explaining, oh yeah, hit the buttons at the right time, beep boop, there you go, you win. Y you know, you know how it works. So instead, I'm going to focus on this version of Beatmania specifically. Uh, speaking of which, this game's name. <laughs> the box on the title screen just call it Beatmania, while the credits refer to it as Beatmania European Edit. With a name like that, you'd expect it to be directly based off of the first Beatmania CS release, but instead it's closer to US CS DDR, where it looks like it's gonna be Japanese first mix, but it's actually more of like a mix of stuff that had come out before. This game is a mix of English licenses that were new to the series at the time, a few songs from the main mixes, and a lot of stuff from Beatmania Appendiebizu mix. But as you can tell from that mess of a pronunciation, I only knew all that after doing some researching on the game. Someone who's never played a Beat Mania game before, this game doesn't feel out of place or anything. Now let's talk about one part of this game that you probably know. The controller. It's not good, but it's also not complete garbage. The buttons don't feel half bad, but require a bit too much weight to actuate, and the turntable on mine only half works in the menus, it just doesn't work during gameplay. And while the design of it may look quite funky now, keep in mind that at this point in time, all Beat Mania controllers look kind of funky. But yeah, now I'd rather just go with a 2DX controller, which does actually work just fine on this game, no problem. Now as someone whose only experience with Bimani before playing this game was DDR, yeah, it's set up quite differently. Ignoring the training or free modes, you only get to pick certain songs on certain stages, which does increase the replay value, making it so that beginners, you know, start off with the easy songs and incentivizing you to play well so that way you get to the later songs without having to continue. Although, I can imagine this was more fun playing on an arcade cabinet without really any knowledge of the game, compared to now, where I can just look up the entire song list online, but like, that's the internet for you. <laughs> also, the song selection screen, it's kind of a pain. It's like, I get that selection screens didn't really get figured out until later on, but it's like one name on screen at a time, and it's long to navigate. But the worst part is, you don't see the song name, you see the genre. It's a good thing that this is a Beatmania game, where they just have infinite amounts of genres that barely even exist. But like, why couldn't they just do the names? The names show up on the load screens. But during the gameplay itself? Yeah, it's Beatmania. The songs aren't mapped like in 2DX where it just feels like you're playing the main melody and stuff of a song all the time. It's more like actual DJing where you have a backing track that you then add samples on top of rhythmically. Which is how key sounding should work in rhythm games. Which means the charts don't get that complex or difficult in comparison to 2DX. Especially because this game doesn't have multiple difficulty options like basically every other rhythm game that came afterwards. This game also has like way more flashing lights and stuff than modern rhythm games, which is especially annoying since it only appears in the middle of the screen, while you focus on one side of the screen, meaning that only one eye gets irritated by all the lights. Although, I guess strobe lighting and stuff like that was common in the clubs that inspired the series, so fair enough. The song list itself is definitely high up there in terms of the CSB Mani games I've played. There's nothing that stands out as being bad or out of place compared to the rest of the songs, and there's a few songs that stick out as being particularly good too, although don't expect any recognisable songs or even really artists from later B-Mani games. The closest you're going to get to that is Scotty D, who like, he did some of the mid to high tier DDR songs, and he also did one of the most memorable songs in this game. So, at the end of the day, do I think you should get the game? Well, it's dirt cheap, so I don't really see many reasons not to get it. It's a neat look into Beatmania, if you haven't gotten it already. And to be fair, considering that Japanese PS1, it's not, it's not, the, since the PlayStation line isn't region free, it's fair to uh, just get this instead if you live in the UK and you want to taste of Beatmania. Because Beatmania is cool. It's neat to see 
the first Konami rhythm game. One of the first rhythm games, period. Just in a slightly different form. And at the, the, the very least, it's a nice box for the collection, you know. It looks neat to have a piece of Bimani merch. It's like, it, it's not DDR. You can shove on your box collection. That's pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't have anything else to add. You can leave the video now if you want to. But if you do want to stay, uh, check out the video I did on Great Yarmouth. I'm really happy with that, and I want to do more stuff like it, because there's a lot of really cool things happening in the UK arcade scene, and I want to go to places and talk about them, but I can't, because we're currently in lockdown 2DX third style. So, uh, I'm just going to sit here and wait, I guess. <laughs>